through the window. What is this? I know, I know, it's water. Shut it off! Well, I gotta go outside to shut it off! Shut it off! I can go right out, shut it off! What can I do? If I can't get water to walk, I'm gonna do it! I can't, 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 for a victory garden for you. Oh, that's coming along swell. We're going to have vegetables enough to feed the whole neighborhood. Well, that's a great. I'm for that, but that's why I'm experimenting with these plants in the house here. See? Yes, I see. You. <laughs> Papers. Tender. Yeah, they grow them in the house. They're not hard. Mm. That's me. But he wants a hobby. I had to be the one to buy the four seed, too. Here, leave my tobacco alone. This ain't your tobacco. Your tobacco's in the humidor. Well, what's that? That's some of my special fertilizer. Oh. Come on, folks. Dinner's ready. Well, what have you been doing now? <laughs> what have I been doing? Oh, nothing. Just smoking some of your father's special fertilizer. Well, why don't you leave Dad's things alone? Oh. Leon. What? Oh, you want to lose the Burbank? Oh, don't kid Dad. He may light on something someday. Yeah, and I hope it's his head. Wait a minute! Vivian. What bag did you get this out of? The one in the vegetable bin. Well, I put them in there to spout. Those are not onions. Those are my gladiola bulbs. <laughs> That's enough of that. Where are you going? I'm going out. Out? Yes, out to get something to eat. <laughs> Fuchsias. Why don't you marry off the old duffer and get rid of him? Yeah, yeah, why not I? You don't happen to know a woman that would like to sleep in a bed of lettuce, do you? No, but I know a matrimonial bureau who advertises for a lot of women who are looking for a bed of roses. No, you don't mean to tell me you can actually get a wife in one of those places, can you? Certainly. Listen, that's the way I got the last two I had. Confidentially, I'm corresponding with one right now. The last one didn't hit the ball. You know what I mean. Yeah, well, I'm afraid the old man wouldn't go for that. I know my wife wouldn't. Well, why tell them about it? Look. Write a letter and sign your father-in-law's name to it. Tell the Bureau you're an old friend of mine and they'll treat you a lot better. I'm one of their best clients. Uh, you know the one I could find. Oh, there it is, yeah. yeah. It's a bad picture of me, if you weren't in it. Yeah. 
What do you want it for? Oh, the, oh uh, well, I'm going to send it to a garden magazine so they can show the people a man who's working diligently on his uh, victory garden. Well, that's darn nice of you, Leon. Yes, going to a garden magazine. Genius. Mushrooms. Asters. Snapdragons. Yep. Vines, no stamps. Vivian! Where's... Vivian! Oh, garden magazine, huh? Oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Earl. How are you? All right. I'm all right. Shh. It's my acting play. It's an acting play. What? Hmm. Oh, it's me. Oh. Oh. I expect that's the letter from the matrimonial agency. Now, you let me handle this in my own way. Well, now, don't you tell him how you found out now. Let me have that. No, 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 no. I think I better give this to the old man. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. Why not? Well, it's addressed here to me, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I see. Using the old man's name as a decoy, eh, Curly? Don't call me Curly, will you? <laughs> well, all right. But don't forget to burn it when you've read it. I will. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Leon. Here, Stilter. Oh, hello, dear. <laughs> Postman bring any mail? Mail, mail? No, no, no. No, darling, there's no mail. No mail? No mail, dear. I see. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Leon? Well, I've got something on my mind, dear. Yes, I can see that. That's silly to say. I can see that. Oh, you can reach right up. I can... <laughs> dear, dear me, seal wax, too. I wonder who put that up there. Must be hair mail. <laughs> no, I won't do either of them. It's, uh... Dear father, well, I'll give him a little oh, later. Oh, I wonder who that could be from. Hmm. A woman's handwriting. Hmm? I wonder what woman could be writing to father. Hmm, I wonder. Oop, see? Maybe he's thinking about getting married again, huh? At his age? Oh, don't be silly. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. You know, I know how to get him a wife that quick. You know how? No, I don't know how, and I'm not interested. Oh. Well, I'll tell you anyway. You could get him, get him a new wife from a, from a matrimonial agency. Well, you'll be sure you don't try it, Leon Arrow, because if you do try anything like that, you can get yourself a new wife at the same time. I was just supposed you to... You heard what I said. Now, you give that letter to Father. Oh, boy, now what have I done? for me. Oh. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I want to send a telegram. Yes. Telegram to Mrs. Leon Arrow, 422 Orange Street. That's right. Yeah. The message? <laughs> Aunt Emma very ill. Come at once. Signed Sophie. That's right. Charge it at this phone, will you? Yes, ma'am.
company. So you send a cab right away to 422 Orange Street. That's right. Thanks. Oh, you go upstairs and do your business. I'll open the door. Oh, go on. Oh, open it. Oh, crazy. I nearly had to kick the door down. What's the matter? Everybody asleep? Well, Leon may be, but I'm not. Oh, he's always asleep. Oh, oh Leon, why don't you help Dad? Here, take some. Put him up there. That's it. <gasps> What's the matter? What time is it? Time? Oh, great. Oh, my God. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I'll answer the door. I'll answer the door. And very likely, it's telegram. Telegram? Yes. How do you know? Well, I mean, the, the telegram must come this time of day. It's either a telegram. I'll look and see myself. There you are. Cab, sir? Yeah. Oh, it's a cabogram. I mean, the, the, the... You wanted a cab? No, I phoned for it to, to say. You're pretty fast, aren't you? You're going to watch those tires. Uh, did you order a cab, dear? No, but I'm expecting a telegram. Oh, yes. You may go. She's expecting a telegram. Expecting a telegram? From whom? Aunt Emma. Oh, yes. Of course. She's sick. She is. Yes. Well, what about the cab? Do you wonder if she'll I go back? Well, of course we want the cab. What for? What for? You don't expect the guy to drive all the way up here without a fare. Stick around, get yourself a cigar or a drink of water or something. Say, do you mind if I phone the office? Certainly not. There's a phone right over there. Yes. Thank Except you. It is right over there. Telegram. Go to your seat. Where have you been? What's the lady? Yeah. Who's the telegram for? Mrs. Leon Arrow. Oh, yes? Well, it's telegram for you, dear. For me, dear. There you are. Thank you. Where's your younger brother? Here. Get yourself a haircut. Oh, Leon, ah. from Aunt Emma, she wants me to come at once. Oh, dear me, she must be awfully sick. How do you know? Well, that's left what I would figure, wouldn't I? Mm, well, for your information, she is sick. Well, that's what I told information. I mean, that's, that's... You know, that's the funny thing. What? I got a letter from her yesterday, she was all right. She was, eh? That was from the dead letter office. Listen, honey, better go down and take care of Aunt Emma. Take her to the hospital. If necessary, have an operation yourself. Now, go on, hurry like a good girl. Hurry, hurry. I had an operation once. You did? Want to try another one? I'll pay for it. Oh, fiddlestick. Oh. All right. Now, come on in. Hey, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll, we'll need the cab. Standing or running time? Well, I... Well, I guess it must be running time. <laughs> Where to, lady? Just around the block. Well, I hope everything's going to turn out all right, dear. Mm, I hope so, too. Yeah. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Get in here. That's a good thing. I, I, oh, I beg your pardon. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, hello. Well, I don't know you, do I? You don't know me? No. Why, I really are. Yeah. Oh, oh, say, you are fast, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're the one I'm looking for. Yes. I guess you're the one I'm looking for. 280. Yes, take the man. You, say, you do work fast. You keep the change. Oh, Thank you. Oh, you're so kind. Oh. I just know I'm going to lie to you. Mm. How do you do, Mr. Casanova? Doing all right, I... Come on. <laughs> Say, listen, just a minute. Uh, weren't you supposed to let me know whether you liked the picture or not before you came out here? Well, I like the picture, so here I am. Yeah, here you are. You mean you don't like me? Oh, sure, sure I like oh. you. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, just a minute. Make all the changes you want. Make all the changes. Oh. Why, hello, dear. What's the matter? I forgot my key. I came back for a check, too. You forgot to give me one. Yeah, I gave one right away for you. Don't stay outside. Yeah, I've been really big it right out. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you can't come in here. How dare you? Well. How do you do? Who are you looking for? I'm looking for a husband. Oh, so the agency sent you, too. Well, you're too late. I was here first. What do you mean? I'll show you what I mean. Well, this is very interesting. 
Let me pass. No! Let me go no, you back. can't go. I'll stick you. Miss I'll have you thrown out of this place. I never heard of it. Oh, honey, the most terrible thing happened. I just went to the I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything now. Go and look at the rest of the house. Go on. Look at the rest of the house. Jason. Leon. Are what? you looking for me? Yeah. How'd you get in here, dear? Well, here's a check. Now, is there anything else you want? Yes, I want an explanation. You want to think, too. This? Where, where did you get this? From the young lady there. But, oh, oh, you're not, eh? Well, well, where did you get this? You sent it to me. I... Oh, well, now, wait a minute. There's been some mistake here. I can't marry you. I'm married already. This is my wife. I meant to send you a picture of my father-in-law. Oh, so you did try to marry Dad off. Well, that was before you said you didn't want to have him married. You know what I told you, Leon Errol? If you ever tried anything like this, you could find yourself a new wife. Well, there she is. Take her. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, darling. Won't you listen to reason? Oh, let her go. I'll never leave you. Say, now, look. You keep away from me and get out of this house. What? Yes. Listen. You sent for me, and you're going to marry me. I'm not going to marry you. Then somebody's going to pay. That's me. How much? Well... $500 for the wedding dress. $200 for the airplane. $200 for an airplane? What's the matter with a bus? Oh, yes. $50 for the bus. I'd better keep my mouth shut. Just make it an even $1,500. Here. Well, at least you're an honest man. Thanks. Aren't you coming, too? Yes. Hmm? As far as the door. Well, I'm satisfied anyway. Yes? Well, so am I. Success! Vivian! Vivian! Now listen, darling, let me oh, explain. No. Vivian, I've got it! I've got it! The first bud. Five more years of transplanting, and I'll have the vegetable plate. Give me that! Oh! The last flower pot will ever come into this house. <laughs> Oh, Leon, dear. Why don't you stick to succotash?